performers, Marcus and Ash. It's lovely to have you both here. We were amazed that you made it. We how missed was it? the end. We missed we the did. end. No. To yeah, come and did. tell you how, how good and enjoyable the whole oh, thing was. It Quite inconvenient having to be here, really, yes. wasn't it? Oh, it, it is. is. It was a spoiled, lovely spoiled evening it, right. yeah. of what, comedy. Was it great? I, you, you go first because you were less of a fan. Than I, I came out more of a fan than I went in. I, I was kind of nervous for them because you just don't want to ruin it after the career that they've had. The good news is they didn't ruin it. If you're a fan... But did you like them? <clears throat> I, t I, thought, I thought tonight that they didn't let their fans down. I thought it was patchy, actually, but actually the production was great. They filled the O2. They didn't let themselves down. And the f people there were just waiting for the big catchphrases to come. Massive ripple of laughter across the O2 at all the right moments. But sh slightly shaky first night in places, mm. actually. But they expanded on the stuff that people knew. They expanded out and did new things at the end. They turned a lot of the sort of really familiar sketches afterwards into a big, huge production number. I mean, people have said uh, online about the price of tickets mm. for any of these sorts of things. Uh, I think you're getting an awful lot on stage. Because John Cleese said there'd be no new material. Was that just a there sort of wind up? There was a ton of new right. material. <laughs> yeah. Loads. Not not whole new uh, sketches, really, but, but different versions of things. And uh, Like what? It was great. Well, uh, they expanded out their uh, Isn't It Awfully Nice to Have a Penis song so that it included the ladies as well. There and then one, and then one for everybody as well with the, with the bottoms. <laughs> and uh, they did a lovely dance number for Sit on, your face, uh, Sit on My Face and Tell Me That You Love Me. And that was great. It was nicely choreographed. But why should they do new material? Because people were going to yeah. see their old material, really. And, and I, I thought that was an unfair accusation. Hmm. The, that Mick Jagger line, a bunch of wrinkly old men trying to relive their youth. Um, is that <laughs> what Jagger promo. said? Yeah, that is what he Jagger said. Yeah, them. he's not um, wrong. <laughs> but but they, 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 they were quite candid. They did it a, a bit for money, didn't they? They did. I yeah. mean, he, yeah, Cleese has got a very expensive divorce. That's, that's Several, I think. Several divorces. Yeah. Uh, listen, they're not the only people in Britain to go to work to earn money, mm. yeah. there's nothing really wrong with that. I think there's only something wrong with that if you shortchange your fans massively. And they didn't. You know, no, they definitely haven't I have that. seen younger men put on more lazy shows right. than, than those guys <laughs> you did, and I did mean you. And, <laughs> and, and so I don't think anyone would kind of... Where did it fall down for you, if at all? I mean, did it feel dated? Did it feel like you were watching something from a It, it did feel a musical? bit dated in times, but that... But that's sort of the joy of it. I didn't. Yeah. You, you don't go there to see a contemporary Monty Python. Um, there were times actually where their age. There's nothing wrong with old people doing comedy. There should be more of it. Um, but we were just saying in the car that sometimes they didn't quite have the energy to push through a couple of sketches that felt like they might be sagging. But I wouldn't be surprised if that came, you know, in in a couple more shows' right. time. The it only is... criticism I'd make is they played in quite a lot of footage, which is lovely to see, but I've seen it before. We're going to try and get you the ending. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, Deli, thank you very, very much.